Hi friends, today we are going to see demo on various aspects of database replication. In, in this demo, we are going to cover the database replication monitoring and the data comparison. So how you will compare the data between primary and the secondary post application as well as how you can monitor your application jobs. So before we start with this demo, I would like to uh, drive your focus toward my recent blog on database replication and failover failback. If you have not seen uh, all the blocks, I would recommend you to please have a look because I have captured lots of detail over there. I will also uh, put the link of my blog in the description of the videos. So let's start with the demo. So in this uh, monitoring part, we are going to uh, start with the secondary account where we have already done one replication. Uh, if you have following my previous video, uh, demo video, you have seen that I have already done one replication where I have created the database on the primary account and then replicated into the secondary account. Just to show you, if I refresh here, you will see that database for replication has already been migrated to secondary account and this is my secondary account and this is my primary account. So in the secondary account, we already had that employee table and we employee view uh, migrated successfully. And now if you want to monitor like uh, how the replication works on different stages or different uh, angles, like uh, or different, uh, you can say dimension, like how you can monitor is like, you can use the metadata table under the information schema, as well as there are also uh, metadata views on the account user schema. So first we will start with the information schema uh, function and we'll try to see like what if you can or what function can be used for what purpose. So I'm just setting up my uh, role warehouse on the database so that I can execute the function. The very first function which I uh, want to show you is like how you can monitor the progress of your current uh, database uh, refresh. And that you can do by using either database refresh progress or database refresh progress by job. So both the uh, function are same, uh, will give you the same output. The only difference between both is like one will be run by the job ID, which is basically when you run the alter database, database name and then refresh and you can take out the query ID out of that uh, SQL statement and put into this function as an input, you will get the refresh, you will get the refresh detail of that uh, using this function. And if you don't know the job ID or if you don't want to go by job ID, you can just run the database refresh progress either by providing a database name for which you wanted to see the application history or by providing without providing the database name means like if you set your database context already, you can run this uh, function and you will get that. This function will information schema by default always show you the last 14 days data only. So if you are planning to see data beyond 14 days, it's not possible with this uh, function. So let's see like and one more important thing is like only return the result for account administrator rule. So basically I have to use the account admin rule. So this is how you can run the uh, uh, function. So you have to pass the database name uh, if you want. And this will give you the output like five different uh, bucket based on which it will give you the status of the uh, like how the replication work is basically if you order by into the ascending order you will see that the first uh, phase is secondary uploading the inventory basically this uh, this step means like secondary is uploading the inventory detail like what is the current uh, current uh, details of the, all the inventory for the comparison then primary uploading the metadata and then they find out the delta based on that then primary uploading the data uh, based on the delta identified then secondary download the updated metadata and uh, secondary download the data and then last step is complete so these are the phases and each phase has the result whether it's completed succeed or failed whatever these are the start time and end time how much how much time it took for each step and if you see the primary uploading data if you click over here uh, okay, so uh, okay, I have to just expand this a bit. So if you see here, it also returns you the detail of like total number of bytes you are transferring and completed copy bytes. So this is the byte which you transferred. This is the bytes which already get transferred. This is a transaction 
timestamp so at what time your uh, database uh, replication has taken the snapshot basically uh, database replication works on uh, point in time copy so basically when you do a replication it always take the uh, you can means like it, it says like a snapshot means like you take the copy of a particular version of that uh, on a particular time and replicate it to a database so if you are keep on changing the source it will not replicate on the same replication but it may replicate on the second refresh so basically it just take the timestamp on which it start with the version of that database to be copied to the secondary account and if you see the downloading metadata it just give you the sync object count so how what what are what is the count of the object what is the table count how many table were there and uh sync column so how many column were there so basically we'll see that this two is because of one table and one view and then lastly like downloading the data basically total number of bytes which has been copied means like transferred and then this is copied so these are the details which you will get uh, by the this function and if you don't want to pass the database replication name or if you have like uh, want to just go with the current database name so you can also run this and you will get the same information as i informed you can also get this detail by passing the query id for that you have to go into the history and then look for the refresh sql command and then put it over here and then you can run this function and you will get the same detail now another uh, uh, function is like the replication uses history uh, function which will give you the costing part of the replication basically if you want to see the what is the cost or the credit consumed by the replication uh, for each replication in last 14 days you can use this uh, function this is also in uh, information schema function and you can run that using role account admin you will see the last 14 days data only so you can run that uh, based on the date range so i'm just passing the entire date range and you will see that for today's date so all these are the older replication which i did uh, earlier but this is the current date data which you can see over here and this is a credit amount uh, consumed by uh, by uh, warehouse or the snowflake to transfer 1024 number of bytes similarly there are different parameters based on which you can do that so if you run based on the date range it will pull all the database which has been replicated uh, on the current account secondary account but if you want to see just the database for the last 24 hours you can also run the query like this and if you want to run for the last seven days or if you want to run for a specific database you can also run based on this you can pass the database name so basically it's like these are optional parameter but if you want you can run the query and you will get the same information but for the restricted based on what parameter you are passing the same thing because this function is only for 14 days and if you are interested to see the user's history for last one year or 365 days you can use this uh, account users view which is basically just the same thing but it is for the last one year so if you run this you will get a similar kind of uh, information uh, they are one additional thing where you are also mentioning the database id because it's a account level so you might have multiple databases so you also have the database name as well as the, the database id included but other information if you see is the same what you are observing in the information schema function this is also the same variety like you can pass on different parameter based on which you want to see the details but this view will give you the last 365 days data and this view will have a latency of around 90 minutes to uh, 3 hours uh, so basically there is a latency uh, and you have to wait for 180 minutes around 3 hours so basically 45 minutes to 3 hours might be the latency to get the details updated into the this uh, table so if, if you see here you are only observing the data for 28 which is yesterday but not for today because the, this tape view has not been uh, updated with the latest data because there is a latency and we had just migrated data so maybe after a couple of hours we will see that we start seeing the data on this view now there is another uh, function which is replication so basically these are the other different ways how you can run that now there is another uh, view or the function which you can use to get the history of the secondary database refresh operation basically database refresh history 
and this function will give you the detail only for the number of the objects which has been transferred from source to target so you can see the bytes information and the object kind information but you will not see any information with regard to uh, credit consume so this function will only give you the list of last 14 days replication and it will only give you the uh, object count and copy bytes the same information if you see this is the latest because this is an information schema but the same information you can see also on the very first view which we executed but that was more on the json part so if you see here we'll see that this object count uh, if i expand it again you will see that the object count was 9 right and the byte was 1024 so same information is also available on the different uh, function but uh, basically if you want to specifically looking for the objects related information you can run this and you can get the what is the count of the object uh, transferred and what was the byte uh, consumed for that so what basically bytes transfer from source to target so these are different uh, monitoring uh, metadata tables or metadata functions or views uh, which you can utilize in snowflake on the secondary account to see all the uh, storage related transfer related or uh, compute related information like how how much compute has been consumed so what is the credit you have invested on this application so this is one part uh, second part is like when you do the transfer from primary to secondary you always wanted to also uh, validate for some initial time you want to monitor whether the data is being migrated or not so as you understand the replication is point in time uh, copy or the replication of that copy but uh, you can also compare the data between primary and secondary um, in different uh, uh, you can use different ways so you can use the hash function so basically what i'm going to do is like i'm going to use the same function and wanted to grab the transition timestamp so if i run this i will get grab the timestamp which i'm going to use later on so what i'm going to do is like i'm going to generate the value of the hash value of the employee table so if you see here this is the hash value of my table sorry i copied the wrong value let me copy this again so i will just copy this and you will see that i have already copied and it is the same value and uh, both because v employee is the view and it is just pulling the data from employee table so both the table in the view has the same hash value because both the table has the both the table and view has the same data set so basically hash aggregate will give you the unique hash value for the unordered set of data for particular table so you can do either for randomly for a couple of table in your secondary and the primary or you can do for the all the table to compare the list you can also automate this part by running all the tables hash value on primary and secondary and then compare the value and see whether there is any difference or not most surely if you see the difference you might uh, uh, resolve that difference on the next refresh if not then you have to validate the uh, issue if you find any differences so here if i run this i i get this value and this value and if i go on the primary and now if i go and run the same thing on my second uh, primary account so i'm just going to set my context and uh, either i can do it uh, like this because at the moment there is no change but if you wanted to do the exact you can also run the based on the value which we uh, we have got over here so let me try if we see the value over here sometime we get the error but let's see so if i run this see the time travel data is not available for the table employee uh, okay might be the reason because i have not enable the time travel in my primary account uh, it is disabled because to save some credits so let me just go and execute this and you will see the output like this so let me copy this output and go to the secondary account and compare back to back so you can see that both the hash value is same which means that the data on the primary is equivalent to data on the secondary so this is one of the way uh, out of many other ways so you can also do that row compare you can also do the average or summation compare so there can be multiple validation you can do the data quality check between primary and secondary 
that's up to your project but this is one of the easiest way you can do if you want to do a quick check so this is how you can do the comparison between primary and secondary and uh, i have also showed you how you can monitor the uh, primary and secondary for the replication related information if you like this demo please subscribe to my channel and follow my blogs thank you